Hey everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. I've got a really exciting first look today of the new Skypod Gen 2. So if you guys do any type of competition shooting, you know about bipods. They're a must to have on your precision rifle. Uh, everything from your hairs to your Atlas to your Accutax, you're going to see a whole slew of them out there. But what you're going to see for your most serious competitors are going to be the Sky Bipod. Now this is sold by MDT. It comes in a cardboard box just like this, shoot better, and I believe it. It also comes with a little informational card as well as a sleeve that goes around it. So what separates the SkyPod from everyone else? Why do these cost so much? They offer them in a lot of different models. This is the double pull. They offer a single pull, which is $599, the double pull, which is $799, and then a triple pull, which is $999. So you're not talking about an inexpensive bipod. Well, let's talk about some of the features of the Gen 2 and what separates it from everyone else. Okay, so first thing you want to know about the double pull is it extends singly, doubly, or you could just pull it at once and just get a double extension like this. So you've got a really long extension leg integrated within it. You also have the ability to go zero degrees, so if this is the stationary position on the rifle, you just slide this lever to the rear and which or push it forwards and you're going to have 45 degrees forwards like this. Pull it down again and now you're going to have 90 degrees, okay? So that's what you can do. You can't go back any further. But from here what you can do is use the back of it. This is from the user's view and you can independently adjust the angle of the legs. You see how much I changed that? And you're like, well, what about your cant? We'll get into that in just a minute. I can also extend that out really far as well. This is very convenient if you have something, let's say like a tire stage or something that has an open center, you can extend these out, bridge the tire itself, and so you have a lot of versatility here. The other thing that makes it unique is the cant. This has 170 degrees of cant, okay? So what we mean by that is how much I can actually take the rifle and rotate it around. So even on a steep angle like this, if my rifle were facing you, I can get it straightened up on the top. The only thing that limits you is the legs, okay? So if you had the narrow legs, let's say you had this in a narrow position like this, I want you guys to see this, this actually fully rotates 360 degrees. But of course your barrel would actually hit on the legs. So that's what's going on with the actual unit itself. Now when you talk about the Gen 2 upgrade, you're going to see this turn knob here. Now the first time I saw this was actually shooting with the inventor and owner of the company uh, before we sold it to MDT, and that was Sky. Now Sky had one of these when we shot in the Bushnell Elite, and what's nice about this is this gives you the ability without tools to be able to tension your cant tension. Okay, so right now it's set pretty tight by hand, but by the time you put the rifle on there you probably want it a little tighter. What I like about this tension knob, and it is knurled, you guys can see that, it has a lot of different holes in here. Uh, that would actually help you on getting more leverage to be able to get more tension if you wanted to on the cant feature. But you've also got two large slots here. So whether you had a quarter or something like that, uh, you could at least get some tension on this. So now it cants pretty freely, or we can tighten it up. So that's one of the biggest things about the Gen 2 is the tension knob. The other thing you're going to notice is this right here. This right here is a detent, but it's a lockout for your panning. Now this has 180 degrees of panning. And so not only do we have the 170 degrees of cant, but now I can pull down this lever, unlock the panning feature, and then now we can actually pan this, which would really be a true 360 degrees, but it's advertised as 180 degrees of panning, okay? So you still have your barricade stop in here. The way you're going to adjust your tension on your panning is going to be with the supplied eighth inch Allen key. So what I can do is loosen this tension just slightly. So this is still not toolless. And this actually happened to me out in New Mexico at a match where the tension was lost. I did not have an eighth inch Allen key with me. And the problem is it was just swinging loose and it was basically flopping around. So that didn't change, but at least they've added this so that I could lock that out and it wouldn't pan at all, regardless of how loose it had became. So kudos to them for that. Let me go ahead and tighten this back up. 
You're also going to notice back here you have two little screws. Now be careful if you do this um, because one of them, the one on the right here, is the detent mechanism for this lockout switch. So there is a spring and a little ball bearing inside of the right one here. You would need a 330 seconds to remove that, uh, but we're not going to remove it. On this one right here, this is the eighth inch. You have an Allen screw inside of here, and what it's like is a set screw. Let me go ahead and remove this. And once you take that off, it is just a cover for another set screw inside of here. Once you take this off, this will allow you to take your adapter plate off. Now guys, this is the Really Right Stuff adapter plate. I do want to caution you that if you do get your hands on one of these Really Right Stuff adapter plate for the Arca Swiss, I think it's the SC-LR, they are back ordered and out of stock everywhere. So I'll end up taking the Arca Swiss clamp off my Gen 1 SkyPod and putting it on this because I don't have an option for it. However, you can order this with a couple of different options as far as which mounting plate you want on there. So guys, that's a full overview of the Gen 2 MDT SkyPod. You can order it directly from MDT, Modular Driven Technologies, or OBI, Old Balls Inc. And that is actually Sky's website. So you can buy them off either place. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this overview of the Gen 2. I didn't see many videos out there of the Gen 2 release. These just got shipped. They're already back ordered. Uh, they should be coming out sometime within the next couple weeks or so. Also, big update, if you guys have been following my channel or watching my channel, uh, you guys know that I've come out with some products as well. Everything from a bullet management folder, the Bad MF, uh, those are available and those are shipping every day on the site. We also have the new Kestrel pouches, which are lined with Tegris, which are impact resistance. They have Velcro on the back. And you can always go to xringcustoms.com. It's all one word, xringcustoms.com and that site is live and you can order from there. Big shout out to everyone that watches the channel. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a great new year coming up. Like, share, and subscribe guys. We'll talk to you soon. And guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great week.